Originally, oxidation meant the reaction of a substance with oxygen. For example, the fast oxidation of burning or the slow oxidation of rusting. But oxidation can also involve other materials, such as chlorine, which can substitute for oxygen in oxidation reactions. Inorganic oxidizers are hazardous materials in widespread use. They pose an unusual hazard and that they cause or enhance the combustion of other materials. This may be done by releasing oxygen readily or some other gas that supports combustion. Typically, inorganic oxidizers do not themselves burn. This program is about inorganic oxidizers. It is part of a series called HASCHEM and is designed to provide training and assistance for personnel who must take action in the event of an emergency which involves inorganic oxidizers. The program will examine the hazards of liquid and solid oxidizers, explain the duties of those first on the scene at an incident, basic first aid procedures for victims of these products, protective clothing and equipment configurations necessary for handling incidents, firefighting tactics and response procedures for leaks and spills. Inorganic oxidizers present one or more of four distinct hazards. They may increase the burning rate of combustible materials. They may cause spontaneous ignition of combustible materials. They may decompose and release hazardous gases. Or they may undergo self-sustained decomposition and explode. Inorganic oxidizers can be gases, such as oxygen and chlorine, liquids, or solids. This program will concentrate on three important solid and liquid inorganic oxidizers, ammonium nitrate, calcium hypochlorite, and nitric acid. 